I don't know how I became the cat lady. And what are you doing in here? So it's done, huh? Glad it's over. I, I burned my hand <gasps> four days ago. Okay, here's update on my nephew Stephen. They did not have to do surgery, just cast it. Where are you, kitty, huh? I know. I know. And hello, Mapo fans. It's gonna get up to 80 degrees today. Oh, all these parking dogs. And there's always a black cat that comes running out of here. I saw it run out from under here. Why is a cat interested in chickens? Let's see if there's any eggs today. I oh, got two in there today. What are you doing in there? Are you learning how to nest? The scroungy looking chicken. Oh, or you're probably eating that. Oh, that's the eater. I bet. Are you the eater, huh? <sighs> you're in there waiting for that egg, aren't you? That's my egg, Missy. I gotta come back with my coat and my glove. What? You're sure scroungy looking. What's your problem? And that cat just sits under there. Hmm. Guess it's friends with the chickens every day. It comes running out from there. Well, let's see what today brings. I've been trying to get a hold of the Humane Society to see if they're open, if they're accepting cats. And if they are, I've got to dig this trap out and sit in there all winter and put it over there and catch a couple of babies. See if Mama's still here. Oh, she's still here with her babies. Hi, Mama. Oh, she's a hissing, growling at me. Look at those eyes. She's got pretty green eyes. I'm not going to bother you. As far as I know, there's three babies there. A black one, an orange one, and a whitish one. Siamese looking. I don't know how I became the cat lady. Oh, you guys looking good in here. All protected from the weather. Oh, I should water them. And these, oh, you guys need water. I better set the water here. It's my shopping day, so I'm going to go shopping. and come put water in the garden while I'm gone. I got to hustle. My daughter Amanda's coming over today to drop some benches off. It's going to Julianne's house in Price. So we got to hustle. Things to do, places to go. Let's see if I can catch some cats later on today. There goes the water. You still sitting in here? Look at her waiting for that egg. Well, I gotta get it. Got my coat and my glove here. Got two chickens I gotta fight for the egg. Watch out, watch out. Come on. I know, you've got two people after your eggs. There's the fake egg in there. Now what are you doing in here? <laughs> okay, no egg. <laughs> I will just leave the coat and glove here. Come back after I go shopping. It's funny I have to fight for the egg. <laughs> well, you guys lay just because you're too old. Oh well, that chicken's waiting, waiting for her prize. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well, <laughs> let's go shopping. And how did I get yellow on my hands? Where's that from? Oh, the flowers are, are dying. I've been keeping them watered. Well, it's been, what's today? Today's the 19th. Oh, my sister Kathy, let's see, it's 10.30. My sister Kathy is in right now, getting her leg cut off. She said she was gonna go in at 10. Four inches above the knee anyway. I fasted yesterday. The rest of the family fasted. Some fasted Sunday, some Monday. Just hope it'll take, it'll, it won't die this time. It keeps, she, they have to keep cutting. They can't seem to get rid of that infection. I don't know, she's on heart thinner. She had open heart surgery when she was 16. So I don't know. They, they're mystified too. They don't know why they can't get rid of that infection. And when, before they cut her leg off, I remember asking her husband, how will this guarantee that she's not diabetic? She says, how will this guarantee that um, this will get rid of the infection? And he goes, we don't know. <sighs> so let's go shopping. Got my mask. Okay, all done shopping. Got all my supplies back there. Always got to get a watermelon. And they got corn on the cob, so excited about that. Better stocked after senior hours. <laughs> I don't know, things are stocking up pretty good. I still haven't seen Scott toilet paper though. That's the one nobody wanted. Oh, I hope they didn't go bankrupt because nobody wanted it. That was the last one on the shelf. Now the only thing on there is Charmin and Great Value. Oh, well. I gotta go home and see if I can get that egg before that other chicken does. It's a race, a race to the finish. 
I shall win, I think. They've already, they're pretty, well, they're in there all the time. They're pretty quick. And I gotta get one of them cameras that, that, um, you know, you can let it run all night, night sensor thing. No, they don't eat them at night. I would just need it during the day. Maybe I can set this camera out there. Uh, they peck at it. Maybe I get my GoPro. That I shall do. Oh, and we got the Bueller camp out this weekend. I don't think I'll camp over, but I'll go there and just hang out. We go Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and I could go Saturday or even Monday. Well, I don't know. I'll see. But Bueller camp out. We're getting brave. Hey, okay, Amanda came and picked all that stuff up and I called the Humane Society and they said yes we are accepting cats now so needs to be done okay there's a few weeds in there so let's set the trap I haven't fed them yet and I'll put food inside here let's see if we oh there's the mama what are you doing hiding in there huh I'll get some of those weeds out of there I think she knows about the cage but she's waiting to be fed. Oh, there's still food in here. Well, I'll set the trap up anyway. See what we can catch. Okay, it is set. When they step on that tray, it shuts. And let's the back door make sure that's closed. Okay, all set. Now I'll come back in a couple hours, see if I've caught anything. Well, we shall see. Oh. She got your egg already. Look at it, see that empty eggshell sitting by her? So I think I, it's that ugly chicken that's eating the eggs. Ah, dang. Yeah, I think it's you. You were the one that was sitting in there waiting for her to lay it. While I was gone shopping. Hmm. And a watermelon with seeds. Boy, I haven't seen that for a while. Maybe I'll go plant those and see if I can grow my own. Well, we got word that my sister Kathy's operation went well today. They cut four inches above the knee, and they said they're going to watch her better, take better care of her. The first time they dropped her, she tore her rotator cuff, and they th uh, think because of the drop that it didn't heal the first time, they can't operate on her rotator cuff till her leg heals, so she can't push herself up out of her chair to be able to stand on the one good leg to keep it strong but anyway they said they're gonna watch her better i will call her probably tomorrow and see how she's doing look how quickly it got eerie out here raining just a little bit and i got the screen put up up here i can hit the ice cream truck or little fellers selling ice cream okay it's up now of course it's locked but if the kids leave the door open, we don't have to worry about flies getting in, you know? Kitties will be safe in there with the rain because the outhouse is not waterproof, last I checked. Boy, it sure got cold fast. Chopping up nuts for my mush for the future and corn on the cob. Five minutes in the microwave, in the husks, and it will be delicious. Weather, weather is so crazy, it's so cold and then hot. I keep turning on the air conditioning and then the, the cooler. Now I've got it on nothing, no heat, no cold air, 74 degrees. That's an old picture. Who's the baby? It looks like Henry and he is six now. Look at little Ender and Ebby, Sierra, Ambry. Oh, little Chaster. That's an old one. How did it go today? went good. And you felt okay and so it's done, huh? Glad it's over. Yes, you probably had a bit of anxiety, huh? Yeah, so, I didn't want to have it done. I wish I could have done something else, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> had to be done on that okay, side. Okay, so you fell on that side, okay. So I was telling the nurse and I still got to have surgery on that 
And I'll show you. Well, I don't know if you can see it very much. I burned my hand four <gasps> days ago. How'd you do that? Boiling some oh. air. They both blistered. Finally, both popped. And then at the hospital, they put a clear tape over this little, this finger. Uh-huh. Just oh, so my it'd goodness. be protected. Oh, good and stuff. some egg, eggs in this pan, fryer pan handle was kind of over the oh. unit. So I went to push it away. and Oh, oh that's that. how you got on the handle. Yeah, see how I'm here. Oh, dear. And my two fingers. Those look pretty bad. They are bad. They really hurt. Did oh, you? Because I'm sitting just flat. I can't see above the stove, so I'm flat with your stove. level, your eye level with the stove. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I told them, oh, I'm going to begin a prosthesis soon. Don't yes. worry about we it. Yes. We have to think positive. Happens. Think positive. Get that prosthetic. That Get a good rest. Love you. Thanks for calling. You bet. Okay. Oh, I'm glad I called Kathy. I was going to wait till tomorrow. I thought, well, let's just call her. I, I like doing the FaceTime because I can see her face and see how she's doing. So that, that was good. That was really nice. Okay, here's an update on my nephew, Stephen. There's his nose. He says hopefully he can get the stitches out tomorrow. Go to see the throat and nose doctor. And he went to see the foot doctor. And they did not have to do surgery, just cast it. If it had been, it says, if the bone moved a half, half a millimeter more, he would have had to do surgery. Good deal, Stephen. My goodness, poor little fellers. Well, we caught one of the cats. Of course, it's at midnight tonight. I don't want it to be cold, so I brought it in here on the porch. It's one of the babies from last year. I put a blanket over it to keep it warm, and it is mad. Where are you, kitty, huh? I know. I know. Well, I've given it food, and we'll just keep it warm right here. Kitty, we'll take you in tomorrow. That's a sad cry. <sighs> well, it has to be done. Couldn't take them in last year because they wouldn't let me, and then the COVID, so it's a good... It's about a year old, that cat. <sighs> so that's one, and then there's one more Siamese-looking one that I need to catch. Take her in tomorrow. I think it opens up at 9.30. Papa O wants to see the capture. Very scared, though. Where? You keep a blanket over it so oh, they don't get scared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want her to scratch me? She won't. Hey, Just don't kitty. stick your fingers in there. You're a pretty big kitty. Yeah, it's yeah. a year old. You're not a baby anymore. Ooh, that might even be the dad. I'm not sure. Is that her making that noise? Yep. That's what we I told hearing. you it was a... No, I brought her in here. They oh. were out by the shed. Hopefully it can't get Cover out. Up. All right, let's close up a couple of quotes. A kitty better not get out. It won't. It shouldn't. I've got... It's caged in there. Oh, life is not about waiting mm. for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. Well, it's dancing in the rain, yeah. <laughs> That's only fun like never. <laughs> fun if you're little if it's kid, warm if rain. You're a little kid it, in yeah. school, it's warm. Warm rains are fun. I've jogged in warm rains. Those are nice. This too shall pass. <laughs> they keep telling us that with the COVID, and it will. It will how, pass. How about this one? Oh, got another one. Don't worry about a thing, because every little thing's going to be all right. Appreciate That's a song. Appreciate the little things like sunrises and mm -hmm. bird song. Birds? Oh, yeah, the birds, birds, birds were singing today. Every little thing's going to be all right. What song is that? Anyway, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And let's see what tomorrow brings. And remember to look for that rose. Thank you, and good night. And we'll take that kitty in the morning. I can't believe in little childhood. Why our little lives were spared. Only the angels could save us from the road.
Speaking for 10 